G'day guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel and in today's video we are doing my semi-final AFL tips and predictions. We're doing this on my mum's laptop which obviously is not ideal however my laptop is still at school because the absolute spuds, they're so bad. I cannot believe this situation but they've they've lost their mind, they've keep my, kept my laptop. They are unbelievable because the screen's fixed, but apparently the base is too highly damaged. And I didn't even take it there because the base was damaged. So, look, they're unbelievably bad. They've lost their minds, but we have to deal with that without a laptop for content over holidays. Um, so, yeah, but without further ado, let's just get into the video. So, Melbourne Cullen tonight. I really hope Melbourne win. Uh, it's going to be a good game, probably low scoring. Uh, both teams value defense highly, so you'd expect it to be a pretty good game. Um, but I think, I don't know, it's going to be an arm wrestle all night, and I reckon it'll be under two goals. Hopefully, Melbourne flog them because I can't stand Cullen, but I can realistically, it'll be under three goals, definitely, probably under two goals. And if it's wet, then it's going to be even more low scoring. So, Cullen won by four points, fifty six to sixty. Low scoring last time they met. Melbourne won sixty one to forty four this year as well. But their first hit out sixty one to forty four. So, yeah, the statistics say it will be another low scoring game, and I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, so it's tough to pick. I mean, they're one and one this year against each other, but. Cullen are probably in the better form. How do Melbourne w kick a winning score? I don't know, but it will be low scoring anyways. Um, honestly, I could see Cullen winning this game, but I'm going to tip the Demons to win it by uh, 9 points in a good game. I just reckon Pashraka, Oliver will step up, and Viney when it really matters, and they'll get their side over the line. Um but it could go either way, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cullen win. And yeah, I can, in my opinion, Melbourne will advance to a prelim in Brisbane next week to face the Lions. So the second semi-final is Port Adelaide versus the GWS Giants at the Adelaide Oval. Now, Port Adelaide have got a few under injury cloud, but the teams are out. So Todd Marshall did get up. Um, Jeremy Finlayson's dropped, which is very interesting. But Charlie Dixon's back in. Um, and yeah, I mean, last week I would have said you drop Ollie Lord, but he kicked four goals, so fair enough. Can't really drop him. Um, the Giants, on the other hand, get Stephen Cornelio back. Um, and I don't really think they lose anyone too important to them. Uh, there might be just one person or two persons dropped. Um, so yeah, obviously they value whoever they're bringing in higher. So there's no real big out um, in this game. So, look, I reckon it'll be a good solid hit out. Port's cr home crowd will help. There's going to be a bit of a buzz. So the Giants will want to start well to silence the crowd. And I reckon they can, but Port will be up and about, you'd imagine. They'll want to respond after last week's pretty poor performance. Um... So, yeah, I reckon this will be another really good game. Maybe a higher scoring one, though. as Like, that will be better to watch as well. Um, I hope the Giants win. Oh, I could. I reckon one team will go out and trade sets, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to tip the Giants in an upset by seven points because I don't want to just be boring and tip the, uh, expect, like, the favourite. So, yeah, I'm going to tip the Giants by seven points. I think it can happen. Um, whether it will, I'm not too sure. The start of this game is absolutely crucial. Um, and yeah, it will play a big role into whoever wins this one. But yeah, I reckon the Giants will win this one by seven points and advance to a preliminary final next week in Melbourne to face the Magpies. So thank you for watching. Comment margin for Port Adelaide GWS. Both games should be pretty good. Um, I reckon 96,000 tonight as well. Uh, so that will be interesting. And yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.